Hi guys, so head gasket sniff test. How accurate are they? So this is a really simple bit of kit guys and it's basically a, a chemical reaction where a fluid is put into a small chamber like this. We hold this over the opening from the coolant bottle and we're just gonna sit there sucking the vapors from the coolant bottle through it. Now, when it detects carbon monoxide or certain other chemicals, this will actually change color and suggest to us that we've got a combustion leak. Does that mean my head gasket's gone? No, it doesn't. It all depends on your car. Although we use this as a head gasket leak tester, all this is gonna tell us is that we've got combustion gases or exhaust gases in the coolant system. Doesn't necessarily mean it was coming from the head gasket. Well, where else can it come from, I hear you say? Well, unfortunately, this lovely little device here. So this is an EGR cooler or an exhaust gas cooler. Uh, and what this has got, it's got two coolant pipes going there and exhaust gases going through the middle. If you can imagine, if this fails internally, the exhaust gases are gonna push the way into the coolant system and it's gonna fail the sniff test. So if you're doing sniff tests on diesel and they have failed, what we need to do is we need to bypass the EGR cooler first and re-carry out the sniff test. So we're gonna simply take the two coolant pipes off here, join them together with a bit of hose and re-carry out the sniff test. If at that point the sniff test fails again, then we can be a bit more assertive that it is gonna be the head gasket that's the cause. But always make sure you're ruling out those pesky EGR coolers first, especially on the Fords. Stay safe.